Now we're going to move on to the payment reconciliation journal. So we navigate that to that via cash management and payment reconciliation journals. And uh, I'm going to. Um, so first off, the payment reconciliation journal it has multiple functions available to it. You're able to post the receipts of uh, towards sales invoices, payments towards purchase invoices, and all, and at the same time reconcile your bank all within the uh, payment reconciliation journal. So the first step would be to go to your bank and download the uh, payment, uh, the statement. Uh, typically, that's in C CSV file, text file, or a similar delimited file. And again, you set those up in the uh, data exchange definition area. So if I uh, create a new one, I can click process and import bank statements. System goes away to check which ones have got uh, certain things set up in the, um, to allow them to have um, automatic bank reconciliation. I'm going to choose my direct debit bank and I'm going to choose my file, the statement import file. Then we've got some working on it. It's, it's essentially work looking in the background to see um, see what uh, to map the, the lines that we've got on the statement to, to the lines that we've got within the system uh, set up on the uh, payment application rule. So as you can see, we've got 13 payment lines there, 15 are applied. So if we click OK, it will take us into the document, the Payment Reconciliation Journal. We've got some confidence matches on the on the left-hand side. We've got some high, some medium, some none. So what, what's the system actually done? So if I navigate to Payment Application Rule, what the system's done is, is it's checked uh, within here to see if the, the line I've imported from my bank matches certain criteria within these rules. If it does, it's going to give me that level of match confidence. So for the first one, that's going to be my receipt that I've just created for my direct debit. So it's only going to consider my direct debit collection. If the number matches the direct debit collection number I've got created, then it's going to match. Similarly, we've got some for medium where it's got some multiple matches. So as you can see, if we go, go across, we've, we've got certain priorities. You, you put them up in num uh, numerical order. And then we've got whether you want to consider related party matching and then how much you want to consider it by fully, partially or no. Whether you want to um, match the document number to, or the external document number to one of the um, statement uh, narrative lines. Um, if, if you want a bit of a tolerance in there between some of the amounts and again, whether direct debit this collection is, is matched. So as you can see, we've got some match confidence levels of high. So if we click into this, you can see it's it's saying not considered, not considered, not considered, because the it's it's um, also giving us further information about what are the, the the rules that it's applied using those payment application rules. As you can also see, we've got some match confidence of none. So this means that it's looking in the system. It's like I, I don't know where this is going to go, so I have no confidence. Me personally, looking at this, I'm going to look at this and think this is a charge. It's a bank charge, so I can do a manual application here. So I can go to manual application, text um, up to account. It's going to pre-populate my mapping text, and then I select which uh, uh, direct debit and credit account I'm going to post these to. So for this one, I'm going to select them to both to go to the same ones, and then close that. And then, as you can see, the max confidence has changed now to high text to account mapping. So next time we import a, a reconciliation journal and it sees transaction text charge, it's going to automatically send it to this GL account. We've also at the bottom, we've got the um, a, a match confidence of none for this for uh, not publishers. So this this particular line, I know that the, this is a vendor of mine, so I can check the account type and I can go into vendor. I can find not publishers there. And then it's applied that line. And as you can see, the match confidence there is manual. So that's not applied to anything uh, on an invoice in particular. That's just saying essentially it's a payment on accounts that I will deal with later at a later date. Um, so let's review what we've, we've got, got, got on the uh, payment reconciliation journal. Um, we've got on the top line, we've got um, a high confidence match for a, a receipt towards a customer. And the second line, we've got a high confidence match of a payment from a vendor. Uh, and that's and then we've also got that uh, high text. Uh, to account mapping to to a GL, and then we've also done a, a payment to account on on, the, on that bottom line as well. So then, following from that, we're now able to post this journal. There's, there's no uh, further um, further further lines that need applying to anywhere. So we can click posting, and then we've got two options. So we've got option. The second option is post payments only. So what will that do in the background? It'll post the payment as in it'll post the receipt for the customer. It'll post the payment for the vendor. It'll post the GL line to the GL for that charge, but it won't reconcile your bank. This first option is post payments and reconcile a bank account. So what in what that will do is it will post your payment and create your bank line and also do your bank reconciliation. So you can see that as you go through um, your bank uh, on your payment reconciliation journal, you, you 
do, are not doing all the tasks you need to do as um, as there used to be where you'd post payments receipts, then you do your bank rec, you can do it all within one screen. And um, that's the end of the demo.